What's going on everybody, Estas here, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I wanted to just do some live market action analysis with you guys, taking a look at the overall markets and breaking down some individual stocks that are actually reporting earnings either today or for the rest of this week, and also taking a look at one very interesting IPO stock, which I'm sure a lot of you guys can guess. They actually partnered with somebody this morning that was very, very big in my personal opinion opinion and we'll go over that in today's video so if you enjoy that feel free to go down below hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you want to see further content for me and let's just get right into it guys so the market opened about five six minutes uh, minutes ago and typically I don't trade in the first 30 45 minutes anyway for the most part so this is why I'm honestly recording this video to give you guys my personal thoughts so you can see the S&P is down five dollars right now it's down about point one one five percent and if we go a bit closer to the 20 day one hour you can see you know we gapped up yesterday we talked about that in yesterday's video we broke out of that downwards trending um channel here that downwards trending um trend line and the 50 simple moving average right and now where we're opening is actually a dip from where we closed yesterday so what i'm seeing now is this could potentially be a higher low from the previous low that we saw yesterday which was at about um, $29.90, and right now we're at about $3,000. And let me show you guys exactly what I mean here by that trend line, um, signaled by that trend line. You guys can see it a bit further there. So if we do end up holding this and bouncing, this could be a dip in the S&P 500. And right now you can see it's fighting. It's going closer and closer to zero to try and go positive, right? Take a look at what the, um, the price is doing here. And if we go to the five-day five minute you guys can probably see it even better right take a look ever since we re uh, we've recovered you know over these past two days we've pulled back and we've held that 50 SMA we've held that trend line drawn out we've pulled back yesterday we popped up and now we gap down right we're fighting to go positive this could be a pullback a hold on the trend as well as the 50 SMA if it does end up holding those levels that could be a spot where we could buy the dip right but let's say it dips below these levels this trend line the 50 SMA and it starts to dump let's say back into 2980 2990 that is pretty bearish in my opinion we could be selling off further from there so that's what I'm looking at right now on the S&P the Nasdaq um, you know kind of the same this one's rallying up a bit right now but it's still down about 24 points down about 0.3 percent right now and the Dow Jones is actually down 0.44 percent down $120, which actually leads us into the first stock that I want to talk about very quickly here, which is actually Boeing. I'm guessing Boeing right now is weighing down the Dow heavily because they just reported earnings, and yes, they are dumping heavily right now, guys. They're down $5.40, down 1.45% right now, and if we go to the one day, one minute, you can see the initial dump to 360 they saw this morning. We popped back up. We filled that gap pretty aggressively right we actually swung all the way back up to 370 we started to struggle to hold that and now you can see once the market opened people are dumping their shares and the stock is falling right we're starting to see it give it is dumping and I'm pretty sure their earnings they came in at 15 billion in revenue and they were expecting 20 billion in revenue and that is quite the miss guys i think it was one of the biggest misses ah crap what was it I, I, it's probably here oh here it is boeing's 2q loss is actually the biggest the biggest ever that's the biggest loss ever guys oh my goodness so uh the 2q loss biggest loss ever so that is a very big negative catalyst there and if we go down a bit more you can probably see the actual earnings um okay okay Anyway, you know, this was very bad news for Boeing, and we all know with the 737 MAX, all the negative news around that, there's just been a negative cloud and around Boeing right now, and they're just going through a tough time. So this is one that could be a put option play here. This could be one that if you're long on Boeing, right, let's say you want to hold Boeing for the long, long term, but you still want to profit on potential pullbacks, negative times in the stock, which in my opinion right now is a negative time in the 
the stock. You know, you could play put options to profit on the downside, right? Let's say you put a bet that, you know, BA is going to maybe, you know, worst case scenario here, BA can really start falling back down to these levels, right? Maybe 330, 340, you know, you could put a, a put option two, three months out, whatever it may be, you know, one, two months out to cover on that potential drop and then you'll profit. And then the idea of that is maybe you can buy more shares down here at a better price with that money that you profited from the put option. That's kind of the idea. And when I personally do put options, guys, you know, I do this a couple of times a year to hedge against my long-term positions when I think that they could potentially fall, you know, in the next coming weeks, next couple of months, whatever it may be, if they're overvalued, you know, if there's just negative sentiment around them, just stuff like that. So Boeing, I want to talk about that one today. Facebook is another one that we need to take a look at. And while we're at it, guys, let's take a look at this earnings report um, release chart here for the upcoming earnings. So yesterday, we saw all these already. We saw all these on Monday. But today, Wednesday, after the close, we have Facebook. After the close, we have Tesla. After the close, we have PayPal. And before today, we had obviously Boeing. We just talked about that. We had AT&T, Caterpillar, UPS, and the list goes on. And Thursday and Friday, we have a bunch of big players as well. We have 3M, Alphabet, Amazon, right? We have Starbucks here. You guys can see we have Southwest. And then heading on Friday, Twitter, AbV, McDonald's. So to say the least, this week is pretty packed with earnings players. And I'm very excited to see how all these end up playing out. So hopping back to Facebook, or not Facebook, um, Think or Swim to look at Facebook, we can see that Facebook right now has been selling off a bit uh, in terms of pre-market, but it seems like it's jumping right now. But it seems like it was selling off this morning heading into the earnings and now we're seeing a rally to fill the gap but at this point you know I don't know if Facebook's going to hold $200 heading into this earnings report, and I'm not too sure what the earnings forecast is for Facebook. I've been slacking on taking a look at um, them for a while now, to be completely honest with you guys, but in terms of the overall trend that I'm seeing here, you can see over the past couple of weeks, two weeks to be honest, ever since we topped that 205, you know, Facebook's been very bearish. You can see it's been making lower lows, lower highs, and we've been in this channel. Let me see if I can draw it out for you guys. This would be actually pretty sweet if I could. I think I'll be able to do this. Let's see if it fits. Okay, take a look. It fits kind of well right there. Facebook's been in this channel here where it's been uh, making lower lows, lower highs. And at this point, we saw that little rally to 202 this morning. And let me see if I can show you guys. We got that rally to around, or no, that was not this morning. That was uh, yesterday. We got the 202 and then we started to dump. And if we go back to that 20-day chart, that dump uh, occurred under this um you know, under this trend line resistance here, it dumped, and now we're kind of trending in the middle. So at this point, heading into the earnings, you know, this is going to be very, uh, it's going to really tell us, is Facebook going to break out, or is it going to be bearish? Is it going to potentially downtrend? And what that is, is let's say it breaks the resistance of this channel, that's a very bullish breakout. But let's say we dumped below the support of the channel, that is very bearish. And heading into this earnings report, guys, really anything can happen. Facebook, we've seen it fluctuate 10%, 5% up, down in terms of earnings. You know, this can very uh, very well happen today. So keep an eye on this one for tomorrow. That's what I'm personally keeping an eye on for as well. Beyond Meat is one that's actually not reporting earnings, or actually they are reporting earnings um, next week, I believe. Uh, 29th is next week. That's not this week. That's probably like Tuesday, Wednesday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. But they actually Actually, just ended up opening up a partnership with Dunkin Donuts, guys, uh, actually known as Dunkin now. They actually dropped the donuts part for those of you guys that don't know. And it's actually interesting to see they're actually putting up a bunch of new stores with just Dunkin. It's actually, it's kind of weird, right? Because you know it as Dunkin Donuts. But anyway, that's not the point. But Dunkin is adding Beyond Meat Sausage as a menu option. The coffee chain is the first U.S. restaurant chain to offer the Beyond Meat Sausage. Beyond Meat's 
stock has soared ahead of its second earnings uh, uh, report on Monday. Okay, Monday is their earnings report. So this is pretty interesting, guys. You know, this is something that can bring Beyond Meat to a huge scale. We know at this point, Dunkin' has... You know, I don't even know how many restaurants they have around the country, around the world, but I know it's a lot, right? I know it's up there where if they were to put their, uh, you know, Beyond Meat sausage in every single one of those restaurants, I don't know if it's, I think it's only in Manhattan, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Yup, it's starting in New York, but let's say they start to spread it if people start to really like it, you know, if, if they see, you know, uh, the money's going up, the sales are going up for that particular, you know, option, this could spread across the country like wide wildfire guys so that is one that i'm watching at this point beyond me you guys can see the catalyst did have it pop a, uh, a good amount now it's dumping to probably go down maybe back down to retest 195 191 maybe 190 that's a level that i'm looking to see if beyond meat could potentially hold above and if we take a look you know that level where we are at right now maybe like actually maybe like 193 to 195 this was an old resistance and at this point if we hold this as a new support we have a good earnings and the duncan catalyst Catalyst maybe pushes us up a bit more. This could be a launching pad up to $215, maybe $220 per share. And that really depends on, again, if their earnings are good, guys. Again, this stock has been fluctuated heavily from news and, you know, uh, uh, like, like uh, you know, just news in general, earnings and stuff. You know, if this earnings report is very good, you know, this could fluctuate the stock up so much it's crazy so beyond meat um that's definitely one snapchat they reported earnings yesterday this one's running like absolute crazy right now it's up 17 percent it did end up holding this pre-market um support that we were talking about in the discord group chat at about 16 30 that was an old resistance all-time high from a couple of um weeks ago here we ended up launching right on top of that dang it this would have been a good day trade but any i probably wouldn't have got it uh got in anyway guys because we were already up 10 percent at open and i wanted to see that break but i guess if i did catch that break i might have gotten in but still that's okay guys we'll get the next trade but snapchat Definitely one at this point that could definitely, definitely be a runner for these next couple of days, especially with the earnings beat that they did have. So Tesla and PayPal, I talked about Tesla a lot yesterday. I'm sure you guys already watched that video. Tesla's reporting earnings after market hours today. Definitely interested in seeing how this one does end up reacting. If we go to the 184 hour chart, you can see, you know, we've been breaking out, right? We're riding that 50 simple moving average support let's say we pull back test that support earnings are good this could be a play for sure but me i'm not ballsy enough i'll be completely honest with you guys i am not ballsy enough to play tesla on earnings because if you get caught on the wrong side whether it's with options or just straight up shares you could get bit in the butt heavily right and i'm not looking to do that to myself so i'm waiting until after earnings right and i want to see what ends up happening how's the uh you know the guidance the outlook on production for the year you know uh, model 3 news all this stuff that we want to know about i want to see how that ends up playing out you know cost cutting all this stuff and then i'll make my decision right that's what i'm personally doing but if we look at the 20 day one hour you know mm -hmm. there could definitely be potential for tesla to sell off to maybe even um 250 dollars and hold up guys my phone is um, buzzing right now but it could definitely end up going to you know 250 255 before maybe popping up after a good earnings report potentially so that's pretty much it also paypal guys they are i'm uh, if i'm remembering correctly they are reporting earnings today yes they are paypal's one to watch it seems like it's dumping here you know kind of a descending pattern over the past couple of days but if this one ends up breaking out of this channel if you guys can see you know this little resistance this could be a breakout so paypal and all the other ones these are the main ones that i'm just keeping my eyes on today guys because earnings periods they are fun they are volatile and there's a lot of plays that come from it guys so i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did feel free to go down below hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already drop a comment let me know what you guys think about these i would love to know join our discord group chat our facebook um group 
Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of that's linked down below. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.